Hi and welcome to the second uh, video in the Home Networking Explained series. In the previous video we looked at uh, internet connection methods and in this video we're going to look at uh, how the, your internet connection terminates in, in the home. These are the methods we looked at in the last video, the DSL methods which is the basically using your existing uh, telephone uh, connection. Uh, we looked at ADSL, VDSL which together are called DSL, Digital Subscriber Line Methods, and we looked at fiber and we looked at cable. And now we're going to look at how these actually terminate in the home. We're not going to look at mobile and satellite in, in this video. So the ADSL and, the, and uh, the VDSL methods, they basically use your old telephone connection. And in the early days, you had your old telephone socket here and you needed a, your telephone normally plugged in here, but when you were connected to the internet, when this was a, also your internet connection, you had to plug in what they called a microfilter. And then the microfilter basically splits the telephone signal from the uh, digital signal, from the internet signal. And so you plug this into, into here and then you plugged your internet router into this port here and you plugged your telephone into this one here. Now, since then, um, most connections, um, or most internet connections have a socket which actually takes care of the filtering so we don't need this anymore. And we just have this socket here, this type of socket. And on this side here, you've got your internet connection and on this side you've got your telephone. Now, this is a UK type connector um, because I'm, I'm in the UK and this here is a what they call an RJ11 connector, um, American style connector and that's where your internet modem gets plugged into here. So this is the RJ11 connector, um, not a very good picture of it here and it actually looks very similar to an Ethernet connector and I'll show you them side by side so you can actually tell the difference. But these are what's called male connectors and the reason they're called male connectors should actually be quite obvious and I'm not going to explain that bit of it. Now this is your internet router or your hub as they say, as they call them in the BT. Um, and this is the DSL port and this is where your RJ11 connect, uh, connector plugs into here and this here basically is a standard uh, telephone cable and you might look on here you've actually got a what they call a one port you can see it's labeled there one it's colored red the um, the coloring is not so important but you've got to look for the label one which stands for wide area network and this is going to connect to your broadband router this is if you're using coax now not all home routers will have this have this port it depends on the home router but they generally have ethernet ports so your, your home route is generally uh, a combined wireless access point and it's also a ethernet switch and this like this one here so a telephone cable plugs into here and then it plugs into either a microfilter here or a socket here depending on which one we're using and if you're using cable, this is a cable modem. Um, I've taken this from a video. I'll put the actual link to the video in the in the description if you want to watch the video. And this is a coaxial cable which connects to your um, cable network. And this here is an Ethernet cable plugged into here, and it plugs into the one port of your router. Um, Ethernet connectors are actually called RJ45s and you can see them here side by side with an RJ11. So this is your telephone and this here is your Ethernet. They look very similar. They both use a uh, twisted pair, unshielded twisted pair, you can see it here. The Ethernet cables tend to be thicker than the, the telephone cables. Uh, but you'll tell them when you see them. This one is actually much smaller than, than this one. Okay, so let's look at the fiber, and to do that, I'm going to take you to a couple of websites. So here I'm at the uh, the BT Open Reach 
uh, website and basically what you have with the fiber you have a, a modem and you also have a modem in the DSL but the modem is actually as part of the router so you don't have an external modem but with the fiber you you actually have an external modem just like you do with the cable TV now in the UK BT offer several different types of modems um, different sizes and you can see here um, they got five different types of modem but they all do the same job and here you can see you've got an optical port port one which uses an ethernet cable which connects to the BT hub in other words your home router um, then you've got a telephone one so you can plug a telephone into it this is a, a voice over a IP telephone and then you've got battery backup that's not, not important the important bit is the actual port the ethernet port that you actually use and, and plug into your hub and it should have a, a picture here no in the next one here it is here is a diagram here so this is the modem and this is the other type of modem and they got an ethernet port and the ethernet port plugs into the ethernet the, the, sorry to the one port on your router and you can see here this is labeled red because the diagram I showed you earlier was using a, a BT hub. The one port is colored red. And this here is another diagram taken from a forum. And you can see here there's the BT modem. There's the cable coming out of it into the, the router. This goes into the one port of the router. And then they've got a, an Ethernet cable coming out of here and feeding into a a switch this is, this is part of the home network okay so basically we have the old telephone line which uses a telephone type cable to connect into your to, to the back of your home router or we have the coaxial cable which is from the cable TV networks plugs into a cable modem and the cable modem then plugs into the back of your home router or your home hub into the one port and it's very important it goes into the one port and again with the fiber we have the same things we need a fiber modem and that plugs into the one port again of your of your home router and those are the three different types of connections you'll, you'll come across in, in a home network okay that brings us to the end of this, this short video in the next video we'll be taking a look at the the home router in a bit more detail